Welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. In this one I'll be showing you how to build a simple slime block elevator that can take you up or down one floor at a time. It is fast, effortless to use, easy to build, simple to understand how it works and there is not a lot of redstone involved. The most expensive part is probably the slime blocks and the sticky pistons. You can see me using it here, I'm just pressing one button to go up and then another one to go down and that's about all there is to using it. It's very straightforward. So let's check out the elevator in first person mode. We are in survival as well as someone will always mention in these designs that you can take damage when falling downwards. That's absolutely true. If you hold down shift then you're going to take one and a half hearts of damage. If you let yourself bounce just once and then hold shift you'll take none at all. So it's up to you how you want to use it but you can move down through the floors a little bit faster if you're holding shift. So let's check out going upwards. I'm going to press this once and you see that we land perfectly on the slime block meaning we don't bounce around a lot and that is extremely convenient. So let's go down all the way to the bottom. I'm going to hold shift so we go down very fast and like that each time you land you can just press the button for the next floor and now let's try that going all the way up. Yes there we are. You see it's very fast. <laughs> I like this design a lot. Not only is it very zippy to get between floors, the redstone blueprint of this design is amazing. Check this out, there is not a lot going on here at all and this is probably one of the smallest blueprints you can make for a design like this. It is three blocks across, three blocks deep like that and perhaps you could argue that the block here at the front is part of that as well as you need an immovable block in front of the slime block. But going back around to the redstone you can see that there is not a lot of redstone being used here. The observer blocks might be a little bit pricey because they cost some quartz but probably the most expensive thing here are the sticky pistons and the slime blocks. So the key thing to understand is how the observer block will affect the sticky pistons as it creates a short pulse. Now with this button we can create two pulses on a timed interval which means that it's going to pull the blocks in and then push them out again. Now with a regular pulse what it won't do is push out the blocks and leave them there but because we're using the observer blocks it will do just that. So if we go around to the front we need that action to happen when we press the down and when we press the up button. When we press the down it's the ones right here so that they get pulled away we fall down and they get pushed out again. When we go up it's actually the ones above us so that we can go upwards through that gap. So if we go around to the back here you'll see that the observer basically passes the signal through another one down to this redstone which controls the pistons just like I showed you a moment ago. On the other side that signal is actually going to go upwards through two observers to the one on the floor above. Now the other thing that happens when you press this is that the block at the bottom gets pushed up to send you on your way. That actually activates twice which it doesn't need to but it's not really a problem and you can see over here that there is a repeater passing the signal downwards to power that sticky piston at the bottom. So now you should understand how the redstone works. Let's jump ahead and build it. It's time for the tutorial. And to build this you're going to need a 3x3 free free area. And of course at the front there you're going to need that immovable block on each of the floors. Now alongside our little platform here I've got a pillar going up. We've got some yellow wall. That is representing where each of the floors are going to be in relation to where we start building. Now there are five blocks in between each floor meaning that each floor is six blocks. So let's open this chest and you will see the contents that you need to build a single floor. So for each floor you want to add you need these materials per floor. You don't need quartz, it can be any type of building block and over here you'll see there's a lot more than just those blocks. What we're going to build is the bare essentials. We're not going to be adding the blocks along the side or at the back there. We're going to build the absolute minimum that you need to make this work. So we start off with two sticky pistons at the back, one on top of the other. To the side of it a block with redstone above and then on this side an observer block with redstone on as well. We place that from above so we get the output on the top side here. And I do want to mention is this is the first floor that you're building. You don't actually need that right there. However, if you're going to build multiple floors you're probably going to want to come back and watch this again. So we will put that there for now, although technically if it's the bottom floor it doesn't need to be there. So the next thing to do is to put two blocks like this and then to go below and place an observer block like this so the output is facing downwards. We don't actually need that block there but what we will do is put redstone on top of both of those. At the front we'll place some temporary blocks so we can put some observers with the output on the back. 
and then we'll swing around, we'll place some buttons on the front and the next place to go to is just over here. We're going to put an observer block there and a piece of redstone on top of it. Now what we'll do is put in our sticky piston at the front and the slime block on top of it. On top of that just place a temporary block to put note blocks around, so one on either side, one through the back here and we need our fourth note block down here next to that redstone. Once you've got those in place, just break that one there. We're going to put a block to the side of this sticky piston, redstone on top, and then a repeater in this gap. That repeater is actually the wrong way around. Don't be a derp, make sure you place it in that direction and set it on the fourth setting. And that's it, we've built one floor of the contraption. Now what you need to do is rewind this video, watch it again and start building your next floor on top of this one. But I want to make it super clear where the next floor starts. So I would recommend using this observer block, coming over here, placing it right there and then placing in those two sticky pistons because that is where the beginning of the next floor is going to start. So I've copied the tutorial, I've repeated the building process six times over, we now have six floors and we'll give this thing a quick test. So button on the left to go upwards, seems to be working just fine doesn't it? And then button on the right hand side to go downwards, look at that, absolutely perfect. So let's say you finish building your entire slime block elevator, you'll never need to expand it upwards or downwards, you can get rid of these two blocks, those are entirely useless. And all the way down at the bottom here, like I'd already said, these two right here can go as well. So that's it from me, this Minecraft tutorial. If you have enjoyed it, then leave a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the design of this thing, because I think it might be one of my most favourite compacted designs I think I've ever done. <laughs> it turned out amazing. And there is a world download available for you in the description box down below. If you are not subscribed, then consider subscribing for more Minecraft tutorials and check out the playlist. There are hundreds of them, and some of them I hope are as useful as this video. But anyway, that's it from me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.